Sudneck Aquatics here. This is an update on my marine velvet treatment. Um, the first video kind of showed that I found out that's what I had and that's what ended up killing most of my fish. I did go ahead and move the little clown fish and the orchid dotty back into the other room and I'll show you that in a little bit and then also I did end up trapping the uh, the algae blending. I got him out of there. So that means that I'm probably on about day maybe 19 or 20 without fish in this tank and by not having fish in this tank that allows for that parasite it allows for all of the eggs from the marine velvet to hatch they're free swimming and they they don't have a host so eventually they will die and i will be doing this for 84 days they recommend 30 to 60 i'm going 84 because that's july 1st and I have family coming for the 4th of July, so I'd like to have fish back in there. So we'll go down and show you that too, but it's just a little bit odd without having anything in this tank. As far as fish goes, the corals are doing fine. My coral and algae is really, really slow. I did buy the algae spores, but anyway, that's what I'm doing on the marine velvet now is this tank is what they call as fallowed. There are no fish in here. That will allow for that parasite to die. It'll completely eradicate it from this tank. It's supposed to be guaranteed, which it will be, because there are no fish for the parasite to attach to, so they, they eventually die. Basically, they do that in 28 days. But what you want to do is give them a second 28 days to make sure there isn't some in there that, that hatch late, whatever, and this type of thing. And then by going an additional time beyond that, then there's just absolutely no way any of them can still be alive because I can't live that long without a host. So anyway, that's what I have going on in there. And if you come into here, I am running uh, copper power and Prasipro in here. And unfortunately, I did lose the clownfish and I lost the orchid dotty back. Basically, there are very few fish, very, very few fish that ever live through marine velvet. And this little guy right here is evidently tough as nails. So I do have him in there. I am running Copper Power and Prazapro in here, and it's been about, you know, 18 days or so. So it'll be an 84 day cycle too, and trying to get enough, you know, algae in there for him to eat. But I keep putting algae from the refugium in there, which I need to do that again. So anyway, that's what I'm doing so far on this thing. And I will add a little more to this video when we get downstairs and show you my quarantine and what's going on there. Okay, we are in my basement. This is my fish room. It's changed a lot. I used to have 26 aquariums in here. I don't have that many now. Uh, basically, a couple of fresh water over here, over there. And this here is my quarantine system. These down here are freshwater quarantine, although the left one, they're just 10, 10 gallon. I did move it to salt so that I could put that big mean damsel in there. And this is my quarantine system for the upstairs display tank. It is a 40 breeder. Um, this here is an artificial coral insert. It's non-porous so that you can have it in there. I think the fish feel a little more comfortable with that in there. And then I have some PVC pipe and I'm basically running, I put all brand new fresh water, uh, brand new salt water in here at 1.026 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and I had the proper amount of Prazapro and uh, copper power in there. And these are the fish that I have purchased. I have a coral beauty angel. I have three pajama cardinals. I did have three engineered gobies. I lost one right away. And then I have a firefish. So this is what's gonna go up into the display tank. And this has been set up since, well, it's been March 8th. So I believe that it's probably time to do about a 50% water change on this and dilute out those, those meds for a while and kind of take it down for delays. I think I'll probably leave, leave the meds out of it for maybe a week or two and then I'll kick some meds back in it again for a second bout. So I think it's gonna work out. But anyway, that's where I'm at now. This is how I am treating marine velvet. This is how you do treat marine velvet. Make sure you follow the label directions on the medications that you do use. And I doubt that these fish have marine velvet, but I don't wanna take a chance of putting them in that tank and starting this, this mess all over again. That's what got me in trouble in the first place is I that orchid dotty back, I, I think it, so what brought it in, I don't know for sure. I only quarantined it for two weeks. Weeks. It wasn't long enough. So anyway, could have came in on a frag plug, hard to say. So anyway, that is how I am treating the marine velvet and this is Studneck Aquatics and thanks for watching.